everybody, welcome back to the show, Crapshoot Creations. Today we're going to be making our dies, so get ready. Uh, before we get started, a word from our sponsor. Hey everybody, before we get on with the video, just want to say, hey, watch watch to the end. We got a little bit of bonus. We'll show you how we make this Rags of Riches shirt. So you don't want to miss it. Let's get back to the show. Alright, so here we go. Video number nine. Preparing your dive. What are we going to need? Well, we got a checklist going on. Most important part. Are you listening? Are you listening? Most of the very important part. The dye gets in contact with your skin or you inhale the little particles. <sighs> uh, it'll kill you. It's cancerous. So the first thing you actually want to do is uh, get some gloves. Get the gloves online. Get something to protect your skin, your hands. You're also going to need it when you're pouring out the dye when you share it anyway. So make sure you get a lot of these uh Buy in bulk quantity, it's cheaper price. And obviously you want to get a mask, protect you, you don't want to suck in all those little molecules and you're going to get cancer. So wear a mask. I know everybody's tired of wearing a mask and you see other people on videos, they don't wear a mask. They say, oh, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you're dead, listen, are you listening? If you're dead or you have cancer, whatever the case may be, you can't make yourself tired, guy. That's all I can say. So the people that you see that don't wear gloves and masks, uh, that's your competition. Let them do what they want to do. You do the right thing. So uh, let's go down the checklist. Uh, people use measuring cups. We don't use them. Uh, we make too many shirts. We don't have enough time to keep measuring them. So what we know and what we do is uh, we get our bottles. We got... Uh, 8 ounce bottles, 16 ounce bottles, 32 ounce bottles, whatever the case may be, we use a bottle, take your bottle, have a funnel, you need a nice funnel to fit in the bottle, you would open up your die, uh, to save time I'm not going to show you the simple stuff, uh, scooping your die with a teaspoon, a teaspoon, uh, yeah a teaspoon, how do we know this, uh, very simple, it says it right on the directions. So how are we going to make the dye? Follow the directions. Uh, it's pretty much two teaspoons per cup of water. Uh, some other dyes you got to look on the label. They got a little star telling you. Uh, you got to double up on the dye. Instead of, instead of us using four scoops, we want to use eight. Or to make black, you need 12. I mean, black is the most expensive, but... We buy it. You don't want to make it yourself because you're not going to get that consistency of black. But uh, anyway, uh, back to making a dye, we use a teaspoon. Uh, you know, you don't have to level it off to scoop it in there. It's pretty much, you don't want to heap it on. You see people on these other videos, yeah, put it on, put it on nice. It's going to be rich. Yeah, the only person getting rich off of is probably them because they're working with the dye companies to sell their dye. You know what I mean? So... Uh, so you send us so many people buy dyes, we give you off on your dye. Well, we're we're not into wasteful. You can only make a color uh, that color. You can keep adding on; it's still going to be that color. That's the way it works. Um, so you got your dyes. Uh, what dye colors did you get? 
Armor die sends you a big long list. Nice pictures. This color, that picture. That color, this color. Purples, yellows. Uh, you know what? Listen, listen. Here's a helpful tint. You don't need that. All you really need is right here. Blue, yellow, and red. Uh, and we buy black for the background, which in other videos, we'll show you what's going on with that. But if you get blue, yellow, and red, and you mix them together, certain combinations, you can get different colors. So why waste your money buying dyes you don't need when you could take the blue and the yellow and make a custom green? You could take the yellow and the red, make a custom orange. You take the blue and the red, make a custom purple. So right there, you got six different colors to work with, plus your black. A lot of tie dyers don't use black. We use black, silver, bronze. You'll see what that's going about on other videos. But um, back to what we do, people want to talk about, well, when you make the dye, what kind of water do you use? Uh, we use regular tap water, uh, not hot water, because we're not scientists or anything. But from our research, there's enzymes in the dye. You don't want to kill them. So we actually use tap water, room temperature. And instead of, like I said, with a measuring cup, we don't use a measuring cup. Uh, we take our funnel. We would pour our, put our dye, four scoops of dye, you know, using the funnel. Four scoops of dye. Pow, 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 pow. And then instead of measuring the cup, because we ain't got a lot of time to waste on that, just take your water, pour it right in, fill it up to your line. Leave a little space at the top. You want that shaking. You want to be able to shake that up real good, get a nice consistent color. As you can see here, it starts settling on the bottom, you know? So before you ever use your dye, always shake it up. Hey, listen to this. This was a no-no. Did you see that? Never shake up your dye like this because uh, it's going to go all over the place. Always use a rag and try to cover it up, you know, and then shake it. Because if not, it'll be all over the place. But to save a little bit of money, uh, you don't got to go out and buy all these fancy colors. Black is the most expensive, and oddly enough, you got to use three times the amount, so you're going to pay a lot of money. Usually black is about $20, $25 a pound. Don't quote us on that because prices change according to whatever's going on. But uh, we got to dye. We usually make about three gallons of dye. Take us about an hour and a half, usually about 16 different colors, plus about four custom colors. And uh, pretty much that's uh, getting your dye prepared. If I ever forget anything or you know something I don't know, let us know. Leave a comment in the comment section and uh, we'd be much obliged. So uh, the washing machine's down outside, and we're ready to bring in the t-shirts, start twisting up some designs and putting on some dyes. So, to the next video, this is Crap Shoe Creation. Woo! -hoo! All right, you made it to the end of the show. You want to see the bonus footage. Thanks so much for watching the whole thing, because you never know what you're going to mi miss unless you watch the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Rags to riches. So what did you miss? Go to our playlist. You'll see how we make the rags and riches in more detail. So, till next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.